Hey everyone. Well, we're back from Porcupine Mountain State Park. This is going to be a relatively short live. I know it's Monday night, holiday, so I don't expect anyone to be here. But um, it's about 9, eh, 2124. It's May 28, 2018, Memorial Day. But I just want to give a quick intro about the trip. There are going to be videos from it. Um, the this is a map of the park basically we parked yeah, we parked at Lake of the Clouds then we had to walk to the Lake Superior Trailhead so we parked here and then the plan was to walk um, oh this way come down camp here come back up day two and then day three finish but uh we didn't that didn't happen uh as you'll see from the videos i'm going to trim them down uh the hike the first day was miserable it was just horribly bad the uh, lake superior trail from well we had to walk from the road to the trailhead which was like an extra mile than we planned then to the cabins it was about 11 more miles we made it to 9.9 .9 total i think maybe 10 and we stopped and we camped um it was beautiful weather and everything but i guess according to the ranger he explained that the thursday before they had a downpour and the lake superior trail right here not very much uh lake superior and a whole lot of swamp uh probably about three or four miles of it out of the Oh, nearly 10 we hiked it was nothing but swamp and I and usually they have these like little boards you can go over swampy parts with and as you get more over here they do again because after we camped which I'll get into after the first day um, the boards there were no boards and there were down trees in the trail all day it was a bad winter up there uh, down trees everywhere I stopped counting after 20 uh, and so if you couldn't go over or under, you had to go around, which meant walking through more swamp. And the bugs fortunately weren't bad, but I did get eaten up pretty bad. They seemed to like me all up here, over here. We pulled some ticks off of us. They hadn't been embedded. But today, before I showered, after we got back, I pulled one that was just starting to embed in me. So there, it was very ticky. Um... What we did was we ended up camping short, but then the next day we walked down here, walked the Pinkerton Trail, and the Pinkerton Trail, it says it's three, the signs there aren't very reliable. It says it's three miles, it's actually 2.6. Some signs way undershoot. Um, but I think the video, it was a good learning experience to prepare for um, our hiking in July in Glacier. Now we know our limits. Um, we're not going to be able to do any overnight backpacking. We just won't be able to do it. This was too stressful, too long of a hike for us. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're not getting any younger. But um, it was a good experience. The second day was fine. We hiked. Well, we stopped short, so we had to hike to Pinkerton Trail, which is like a mile and a half. And it was 2.6 to the parking lot. But Pinkerton parking lot's down here. And we were parked up here, and as you can see by the scale, we actually were able to bum a ride from somebody whose name was Brian who was nice enough to bring us back to the Jeep. And then, uh, you know, Sunday was supposed to be another 10-mile hike, which probably wouldn't have been as bad. It just wouldn't have been swampy, but we just didn't want to do it. We went back to the cabin. But um, like I said, there will be video from this experience along the way. And um, the cats are fighting right now for some reason. But um, I see no one's watching, so I'll just cut it off here. And I hope you'll watch the uh, hiking trail videos.